What's up, CrossFit for Vancouver? Christina here with Thursday's workout of the day. So um, we have a skill slash strength EMOM for you. It's a 20 minute EMOM of four different movements. The first one is gonna be five to 10 strict pull-ups. If you have anything to where you can do a strict pull-up on, awesome. If not, try to do any other body pulling movements, whether that's like the bed sheet in the door, um, any type of ring rows, and then uh, if you do need to do a dumbbell row, you can do that as well. So five to 10 of those. Next is 30 seconds of a hollow hold or a rock. Um, what that will look like is, you'll be on the ground, and remember we're here, so point the toes, uh, feet are off the ground, you're gonna extend the arms out in front. Uh, try to keep your upper back or shoulders off the ground. If you can hold this position and rock, awesome. If not, we'll just hold here. If this is difficult, you can bring one leg in, and then both legs in, and you can even have both hands by your side. Okay. Um, on that part, see if you can do the most challenging version for 30 seconds without ever having your feet touch the ground. Next up, uh, 45 seconds of dumbbell reverse lunges. So you'll take your dumbbell, hold it in your goblet position, and the reverse lunge just means you can you step back each time. Um, and then the last minute will be whatever you want to do, athlete choice, and uh, the whole goal of this minute is to choose something that you really want to practice on. The intensity won't be as high, you're not going to try to go for as many reps as you can in that minute. It'll be more for like perfecting that movement, so examples would be uh, like a pistol um, or those pistol progressions, maybe a handstand hold, or just whatever you want to just do to work on that like go movement. So you'll be going through that for five rounds, so four movements, 20 minutes. Uh, and yeah, have some fun with it. Um, for your warm up, 10 minutes general warm up, do whatever you do to get nice and warm. And then go through three rounds of 10 down ups, which are going to the top of the push up position and standing, so 10 of those. 10 step ups, so find a box, a bench, whatever you have, a stool, step um, for the step ups. And then 10 V ups or tuck ups. What that looks like is you'll be here kind of in that hollow position and then you meet in the middle. If that is difficult, you can do a tuck up, which your hands will be by your side, also meeting in the 